It's your boy Superman 2000 coming from the fight mobile. I had to shave the beard a little, you know how it is. I got a, a workshop I'm, I'm doing uh, coming up, so I, I gotta make sure I look a little professional. Week number of that five with the braces. Oh man, this thing hurt. But my voice is completely changing. Completely, it's like completely different. So we'll see how that works out for me. All right, my man Slimex 1976. What's up? I gotta give a shout out, dude. He's been holding it down. All right, my fight pick him. Now, I want you guys to know that I didn't pick Daniel Kamir for the win. I picked Rumble Johnson. Even though DC is the kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? He has heart. He has heart. I'll give him that. But Rumble Johnson learned from his mistakes. He's had a couple of fights that, that's preparing him. I think he's ready for the win. And I think that what we saw with Rampage Jackson and King Mo, that's what we're gonna see with Rumble Johnson and Daniel Cormier. Cause DC trains with King Mo. So I suspect DC is gonna go a lot for the takedown, the ground and pound like the last time, and then try to dominate, then try to wear Johnson down by just put, putting his body weight on him and leaning on him, like how John Jones does it. John Jones will you get a big frame and he'll put that frame on you and weigh it down. So I suspect DC is gonna put the body weight on him, keep him on the ground, prep put, lay on his chest, cover his mouth, try to control his breathing, wear him down. A lot of a lot of strikes on the ground to just just exhaust him. Cause believe it or not, yeah, I, I, a lot of you guys watching probably been in fights and I've been in fights, but you get hit sometimes. You get you get hit in the, in, in the abdomen, the ribs, abdomen, ribs across here. It, it, it not it, you know abdomen and ribs not the window to you. And I, I, I hit to the jaw or the face, stun you. And it takes that, that split second it takes for you to get your composure and pull it together. That can give your opponent the opportunity to capitalize. So I'm not underestimating Daniel Kamir, but what I am saying is that Rumble Johnson is ready this time around. He's, 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 he's gonna come in, keep the center of gravity low. He's gonna sprawl, guard against the takedown. And the last time he's gonna go back and look what he did successful the last time. And I believe he's gonna clip DC this time, but not with the big overhand. Because he's learned that hey, if I throw the big overhand, once that I release the big overhand, if DC steps in on the inside, I, I can't get him off me and it's gonna go to the ground. So I suspect that what's gonna happen is that he's gonna use the jab and the cross more effectively and then work the uppercuts and then probably the clinch and the knee to the abdomen to wear DC out because right now this fight believe it or not is coming down to who has the cardio who put the work in and who can go the distance I believe that's what it's gonna come down to it sounds crazy but these guys are equally matched up the last time they fought I mean I'm not gonna say no serious damage was done to either opponent, but it seemed to me like it, 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 it could have been worse. They respected each other, nobody was really banged up, but this time around, it's, it's, it's either gonna be a free for all, or both guys gonna be cautious, or Daniel Cormier is gonna be just, just enough to keep the belt. But I, I don't suspect he's gonna be just enough to keep the belt. I suspect he's gonna go hard because, you know, the, 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 the fact that. He's coming as the underdog, under point card, and he's a champ, and he's been a dominant champ. That's enough to make him upset. Now, as for John Jones, I, I'm not gonna say he's not one of the greatest of all time, but it, but just like, just like uh, BJ Penn, no matter how talented you are, if talent don't work, 
hard work beat talent all the time. So if you have talent, if you're talented and you're not working on your skills, training and sharpening, you're gonna get beaten all the time. And that's what happened to BJ Penn. He rose to the top of the game, he got comfortable, and then just started partying. And then afterwards, you know, that was it. That was it. You know, Matt took him down. And, 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 that, and that was it. So, for Jones, I'm, Drew Rislot and Jones, I know he's training hard. And I, hopefully he can keep himself out of trouble. But for this fight, I'm going with Rumble Johnson. It's a, it's a pick I don't like. Because I know Daniel come here at the heart of a champion. And he's been through things that's transformed him and molded him and made him a champ. But I got to go with the numbers. It's a pick I don't like, but... Rumble Johnson. All right, guys, that's my two cents from the fight here. Peace out.